the greatest guitarists in the history of rock and roll. He's got five Grammys, a Kennedy Center honor, and a Maserati that does 185. He's also co-founder and co-headliner of the seventh annual Vets Aid, the concert for our veterans happening Sunday, November 12th in Chula Vista, California. Please welcome Joe Walsh. <laughs> How are you? How's everything? Pretty good. Good, good. <laughs> Pretty Can I, good. I want to tell the story of this concert before uh, we get into other stuff, but you co-founded this concert. Yes, I did. In honor of your dad, to honor your dad, right? Yeah. 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 My dad was in the Army Air Force before there was an Air Force. Wow. And uh, he flew the first operational jet and uh, didn't come back. Mm hmm Didn't come back that day. Mm-hmm. And so this concert, Korea, Korea honors um, veterans, raises funds, awareness, et cetera, for veterans, their families. Well, I am very resonant to the Gold Star families. Mm -hmm. You are a Gold Star or, family. Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. Where, where uh, dad or a loved one doesn't come back. Right. And I have noticed uh, that returning vets, the transition to civilian life, is a big mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. And so I try to help. I ask my friends and musicians to play uh, every year. And you got we some raise good ones a lot year. of money to help. It's in San Diego this year. Uh, California has the highest homeless vet rate. Uh -huh. and, and I just do what I can. I do what I can to help vets. You got your pal Steven Stills. You yep. got the War on Drugs, great yep. band. You got ELO. You got the Flaming Lips. And of course, you will play as well. Does everybody say yes when you ask them? Yeah. Well, these people did. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you, you know, you, you just throw it out there. You go fishing and ask everybody you know. Uh -huh. And a lot of them are on tour or, or can't do it. The worst thing that can happen is when everybody says yes, mm. because then you have a three-day show. <laughs> and that doesn't work either. Have you had to turn some people away after they said yes? No. OK, good. All right, good. Now, it works great. And I just, I think the world of my peer group, uh, people show up. People say, hell yeah, yeah I'll help vets. That's great. That's great. When yeah. you were getting started, when you were a kid, how old were you when you started playing guitar professionally? Oh, uh, seven, eight, 18. 18 years old. Now, I don't know professionally. I mean, I, I started getting paid. Yeah, but it's professionally, Does that mean, sure. Yeah, OK, yeah. How old when you were in James Gang? Uh, I was about 21. 21 years old. Yeah. What was your first big tour? Like, did you guys play with uh, another band? We, uh, complete out of luck, got to open for The Who in Europe when they premiered I, Tommy. How did they find you? Well, in Pittsburgh. They found you in Pittsburgh. <laughs> they, they played uh, Tommy in Pittsburgh, and we opened for them because the promoter was our manager. I see. Yeah. And, and they said, we and like these guys. So Let's take them. Pete Townsend just happened to come early that night and heard 20 minutes of it. And we became really good friends, became really good friends with the whole band. And they took us to Europe. And that's really what broke the James Gang. Pete is a little bit older than you. Did you guys ever, like, did you ever, like, noodle together? Um, did he ever? Noodle? Yeah. No, we no. don't noodle. You don't noodle. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe back then you we noodled. We don't know each other And then that you moved well. to a full-blown fettuccine Alfredo, you know? Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> now, we, we sit down and play. He taught me uh, how to play guitar in a three-piece band. You have drums and bass. He taught you? Well, you have drums and bass, and you, and what do you do? And he, the thing he taught me was to play with an attitude. Just the attitude is the whole thing. And you can hear that attitude on a lot of my records. But 
Keith Moon, the Who's drummer, yeah. he taught me how to trash hotel rooms. <laughs> also important, yeah. That, you know, have you noticed in a hotel room that you can't open the windows anymore? <laughs> That's because of, of you. Keith Moon and they, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You and Keith. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I heard you played the clarinet in, in school. Is that true? Well, I don't brag about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. I played the clarinet in school. and yeah. um, I played uh, the clarinet, and then I switched to oboe. Oh, you did? Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. wow. You switched yeah. from clarinet to oboe. That's, you're headed in the wrong direction there. Yeah, well, I, you know, I had, uh, <laughs> uh, I was a uh, strange kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and why did you give up the woodwind instruments? Well, because, it, I realized that I'm not going to get any girls playing clarinet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can't accompany I yourself. I wish you'd let me know um, back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. You can't accompany. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. See now that's that's oh, what. Oh wow. Yeah. It's, uh, shockingly, uh, didn't yeah no it didn't uh, didn't lure any girls at all. Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> and you, you can't accompany yourself and sing with a clarinet in your mouth. That I just sing with a clarinet either. in my mouth. I'm able to do it. I'm the only living person that's able to do it. But I can see, yeah, how normal mortals wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever pick up a clarinet and play it? I suppose I can still play it. I'm not sure. Because I happen to have a clarinet here for you. <laughs> I don't know if you remember how it still goes. Now, I have a clarinet, and I will tell you that. <laughs> you, it, it, this is why I'm on your show, right? You wanted to play clarinet with somebody. Well, when I found out that you played clarinet, I thought, maybe this will make me cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, help us for God's sake. I know you got Stephen Stills. I know you got the War on Drugs. I know you got the Flaming Lips. And I know you're going to be there on guitar. But if you need a clarinet player at the show, I would love to entertain. OK. <laughs> Joe Walsh, everybody. The 7th Annual Vetsche is the concert for our veterans Sunday, November 12th in Chula Vista, California. We'll be back.